is unclean. Okay, he ain't supposed to eat it. But back, you think don't that scripture you was reading? Yeah. All right, I got one right here. Uh, going into the same topic brother was going into about how, uh, about now you know we pray to the Lord, he forgive us for our sins and all that, right? You get distracted out here, man. You dude came up and <laughs> I think he was full blown retarded, man. Satan come out here trying to throw the spirit off. We ain't going to let it. But it's going to that Israel. Because that lady came up and she was just talking about Israel, right? Just say the Bible right now. You got to eat them. Yeah, but listen to this. But we just talking about how the Lord came to save Israel from their sin. That's who the Lord coming to save. You know that he only coming for the nation of Israel, right? Yeah, I'm about to read it. Look. Galatians 3 and 16. Galatians 3 and 16. Now to Abraham and his seed. Listen, now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not, and to seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. But you know that's Greek for Mashiach, the Messiah. He ain't. He out of there. Why don't you finish the rest of this? And this I say, that this we're going into that covenant, because that said Abraham and his seeds were the promises made, right? Who's Abraham's seed? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's the nation of Israel. And this is the New Testament, telling you that the promise and the covenant was given to Israel. It didn't say all the nations. This ain't nothing like that. Listen, Galatians 3 and 17. And this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before of the Most High and Yahweh Shai, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of none effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, you hear that? For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise. But the Most High gave it to Abraham by promise. So that's how we get saved. The the reason that Israel is the chosen people is because the Lord made a promise to Abraham. It's not because we kept all the laws perfectly. Even though you're supposed to keep the laws, we ain't going to be eating no pork. You ain't going to catch us eating no catfish or shrimp. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, yeah, but that ain't going to save you, though. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get saved by your faith alone. And really, you get saved because the Most High made a promise. I'm going to finish the rest of it up right here. Wherefore, then... Wherefore then uh, serveth the law? It was added because of transgression, because of wicked ass Israelites. There's, if everybody was righteous, you wouldn't need to have to tell them the law. Right, exactly. Because we in the spirit, we don't need to be told them, because we in the spirit. We know to us through the spirit, we know what's right and wrong. You know what I mean? Wherefore then serveth the law? It was added because of transgressions. Till the seed should come to whom the promise was made. There it goes again. Till that seed should come to whom the promise was made. And it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. Now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but the most high is one. I mean, that was the point. I just wanted to go into that about how that, that we say because of the promise. You know what I'm saying? I have a lot of Israelites out here like IUIC. That's all they talk about is the law. Then they come up like, why ain't y'all teaching the law? They're like, don't. They act like that's the only thing you're supposed to teach. And then they make fun of us when we go into prophecy. Go ahead. Psalms 119, 115 and 1. Not unto us, O Yahweh, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy true sake. Wherefore should the evil say, where is God? Yeah, for the mercy. The Lord is merciful, uh, merciful. 
And the Lord want merciful, we all be dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, like you said, we all get vaporized, turned to a pile of ashes. But the most high, like the, uh, the scriptures say, he's a, a the most high uh, got them tender mercies. How's it go? He's all merciful. What? All his mercy do endure forever, yeah. Kaya la Iwalam Kasagwa. Yeah. His mercy endure forever. Yeah, the Lord's mercy endure forever. Even the Lord even gonna show mercy on the heathens uh, at the end of the day. After 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 Esau serves a thousand years and exterminated. It's just gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while, but the Lord is merciful. That's why the Lord, if you done murdered somebody, the Lord will forgive you. And like if you murder somebody, and, and and if you pray for forgiveness, you could come out here and join us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, Paul was a murderer. Go ahead. Psalms 103, verse one. It says, "Bless Yahweh, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless Yahweh, O my soul, and forget all His benefits. Forgive us all thy iniquities, and heal us all thy Satisfy that mouth with good things so that that youth will renew like the eagles. The how will execute judgment so like a righteousness and judgment for all them that are oppressed. He had made his ways, he had made known his ways to Moses and his acts to the children of Israel. The how will is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. Yeah, slow to anger. The Lord wants slow to anger. Well, there good. We all be dead again. Cause, 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 you see how angry we are out here? In the most, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, though, yeah, right. That's where I was looking for. Long suffering. The Lord is long suffering. He gonna give you time. He done gave y'all too much time. Look at your motherfucking ankles. He got the cankles. That's a bad diet. That's his body containing all this. That's his way of fun. That's his bad genetics, too. Yeah, it's everything bad. And they get mad if you say something. I can't help them. When I see something like that, I just flip out. Maybe I shouldn't make fun of people. I should ask about it the bus stop. Okay, a little bit more this. Uh, verse, uh, go back to Psalms 103, verse 9. He will not always try, neither will he keep his anger forever. Oh, shit. He have not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high, because you put to death right now. Really? If you break the Sabbath one time, you're supposed to get put to death for that. So I mean, America done totally profane it. So what do you think is coming here? It took that to a whole different level. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy to them that fear him. That fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far have he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so Yahweh pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that he was thus. Right, like even King David. King David was a man after the most high's own heart, but he, he committed adultery. That's a sin unto death. You know, but he, he begged and begged for forgiveness, and the Lord showed mercy upon him. I, I gotta stop this camera real quick.